Hey guys, it's Bobby here tonight. It's been a long time since I made a video, so I wanted to show my newest machine. And that would be the Hoover Floor Mate. Now, I have a very small apartment. That's my kitchen, but I've used this for so many friends, and I'll probably use it for some family members as well. So I got it just because it's fun, and I always wanted one. I really didn't need it, considering the size of my kitchen, but it's, it's really fun to play with. Um, before I got this, which, by the way, I got on Craigslist for $35, which is probably what it's worth. I would not buy a new one, but uh, it is it is uh, good for that price. Um, before I got that, I used these things here. A Skunsi uh, microfiber mop, a Lidman Wonder mop, and a Valida Rollomatic mop. And uh, just use them with a bucket, and sometimes I still do, um, because I just want to do a quick job or because... I need to get into corners or small spaces where the Hoover floor mate cannot fit. But uh, the Hoover floor mate's just fun to use. It's just a gadget. Um, it's just a toy. And uh, it actually, I think it cleans better than a regular mop would, but it does not uh, clean faster. It's, it's a lot of work to use and set up. It takes a lot of time to do that. So um, it's just fun. So don't, don't buy one if you're considering just buying one to save time. I actually sold this uh, this machine, except that it was the first version of it at Sears back in 2002 when it first came out. And there are several improvements on this model. Um, just the, the hand grip is better. The power switch is up here where it belongs, whereas on the old model it was down there where that knob is now. And then that knob was a switch up here and a pedal at the bottom. There were two pedals. It was just very confusing. It was a turquoise and ash gray uh, speckled machine. And uh, it worked well, but uh, this one is better. But um, there are some things I don't like about it, and I'll go over those a little later. Actually, on this one, the handle even folds down if you press the button there. So I don't know why vacuums do that. They say it's for convenience storage. I guess it's just a selling gimmick, because I would never do that with any of my machines. Um, now, if this is advertised to be a dry vacuum first. It's not a very good dry vacuum. Um, there's a good reason for that. Um, this, this is the filter here. And... Uh, this filter is uh, it's not very big, so when you vacuum, that hole there will get clogged up with whatever you're using in it. Um, this one's still dirty because I just used it for a friend and I haven't cleaned it yet. But um, that filter is a very small surface area, and uh, it's pleated, it's paper, it just gets clogged easily and quickly. Not to mention that it just cannot get in all the nooks and crannies and under the furniture like a regular canister would. So you do need a good, capable canister to really clean first before you use this to wash. Of course, I would recommend the... Electrolux, Renaissance, or the Mila Plus. Those are both excellent vacuums, but there are far better canisters out there as well now. But uh, what I'll do is go ahead and vacuum up some coffee grinds in the dry mode. Um, usually it snow plows as well, dry dirt, so that's when it even sucks it up. So it's not a great dry vacuum, but I'll do that to start with. And then I will go ahead and clean this other area here. I have uh, smeared ketchup, barbecue sauce, and syrup onto the floor and then dried it on with a hair dryer. So it should be quite a task to get this thing to clean. I do not use Hoover Solution in this. Um, I went to buy some and I couldn't find it, but I think it's just too expensive anyway, so I'm just, I just didn't go there. Um, to get the tank out, the top tank, for the water, the clean water, you just pinch the button on the bottom and pull it straight out. Now this is the problem with buying it used. This is chipped right here. Somebody who had it before me dropped it, but you know what? For $35, I think I can live with the chip. So uh, I'm just getting the water hot right now, since I don't use chemicals. Um, I do use vinegar sometimes, but since I don't like to use chemicals and don't want to pay for them, um, I try to make the water as hot as possible. And uh, not only have I cleaned for friends with this thing since I've had it, I also brought it into work and spent two hours doing the whole office. Of course, nobody even noticed, but I had fun doing it. And it needed done badly, because nobody cleaned there. So uh, we'll go ahead and start it up and see how it works. Oh, yeah, one more um, thing that I don't like about this one that I did like about the old one. On this new one, you can remove the nozzle to clean it by sliding those two uh, wings at the bottom. And then you have to click some buttons underneath that to remove the brushes if you want to take the brushes out for cleaning. On the old model, uh, they were separate. So if you just wanted to take the brushes out, you just hit two buttons and they dropped out. The buttons were on the top. And uh, this one, I hate having to remove the nozzle first. It's hard to put back in. It's just an unnecessary step. So we'll go ahead and start cleaning and see what happens.
Okay, so it did a great job there on the coffee. That was good coffee, too, and I wasted it, but um, I still have a lot left, so it's okay. My place smells really good right now. Um, but that was dirt that doesn't clog very much. It's not like it was pet hair or dust or something, so, you know, it maintained suction. It didn't have to go into any corners or up against walls, so really this was what it was designed to do, clean flat, wide open floor spaces with dirt that doesn't clog, and it did that fine. So uh, we could have challenged it a little more, but I don't see the need to. I'm going to go ahead and just move right into the wet part and see if it can meet our uh, dirty food challenge. I went ahead and just switched the knob. There are three settings there, dry vac, wash, and wet pickup. So you actually kind of use them in the order that they are on the machine. So I just turn the knob to wash, and we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, another thing I like about it, the, uh, the trigger is here on the handle. That's where you uh, press to squeeze the solution out. It's gravity feed. There's no pump. It just drops out. But uh, the handle is big enough that when you don't want to be pressing the trigger, you can still hold it and not accidentally worry about hitting the trigger. It's a nice, beefy handle, rubberized grip, very ergonomic. It does get heavy after a while. When I used this thing for two hours at work, my hand got quite fatigued. It's actually quite a heavy machine. Old people and weak people and disabled people should not buy this. I just wanted to show the brushes spinning as well. They're dirty right now because I just used them on all that nastiness, but the floor's clean. It, it did a pretty good job. Um, that's how it always works. So um, Now I've got to clean this nasty tank, which is not easy to use. It's actually hard to manipulate. And it actually, there's a design flaw with this machine because when you're vacuuming, if you do it too vigorously, I hope it smells like coffee now. I'm getting thirsty. Um, if you vacuum too vigorously with this thing, um, this float will actually rise up and cut the suction off prematurely, um, just based on the, the movement of the vacuum. So you've got to actually turn the machine off and let the float fall back down so you get your suction back. It's really a terrible design. Um, what I do is just remove the tank while it's running and then uh, let the thing fall and push it back in so I don't have to turn it off and on. But uh, not good, so they should really fix that. I can't wait to see the next version and see what improvements are uh, made on it. There's no attachments on this one. If they have attachments, there's a port right there, right there, um, where you like hook the hose up to. But I hear they don't work very well anyway, so not a big deal. But anyway, that is my Hoover Floor Mate video. Thank you for watching. Bye.